I really hope that on an international level this animation will be an eye-opener, especially for the many climate deniers across the world. As the climate crisis exacerbates in the coming years, we are seeing new issues emerging and therefore we need to start thinking about new or better and innovative ways and solutions. Kale used to be a really big island where my grandparents and his family lived decades ago. But as of 2014, Kale has completely submerged underwater and now my children would not get to experience what we experienced growing up. I believe loss and damage should not only be quantified from an economic loss point of view, but also the loss of our culture, our identity, our history, and especially our heritage sites. Whilst doing my Bachelor of Laws, I have developed a keen interest for climate-induced displacement. So I responded to an email that was sent out from IIED calling for authors from least developing countries to write on loss and damage. It will help the international audience in particular understand the gravity of the climate crisis from a Solomon Islanders perspective. But more excitingly, it is the best way to really um, educate the young generation of Solomon Islands to understand uh, the gravity of the climate crisis on the ground. I'm definitely really excited to see my blog coming to life through this animation. We have helped contextualize the storyboard and the visuals so that it meets the best represent the local context of Solomon Islands. So I also helped in translating the English um, script into the Solomon Island Pigeon version. I hope that this animation can inspire action or motivate negotiation in the loss and damage. Stories like this of personal and deep losses from climate change should be amplified, especially from those who are directly impacted. We are grateful for the opportunity to have this animation done in Solomon Islands Pidgin as many people in our country still don't really understand why our environment is changing the way it is and this will really encourage them to speak out more and also have more youth come on board to advocate for climate justice.